Hello everybody, this is Chris Michaels coming at you from the Alpha Murray studio here at Crows in Sydney, Australia for another video. This time we're going to be working on a three part series. Today is number one. Next week we'll deliver part two and three of this, our Cuban motion. So first part today, we're gonna to work on the fundamentals and uh, next week we're going to be extending that a little bit further, getting a little bit more advanced uh, through your motion. Please remember that you need to complete stage one before you can go to stage two, and you need to complete stage two before you can get to stage three, but we'll get to that next time. But today, let's get straight into our video. Okay, so we are working today on the fundamentals of our Cuban motion, the most critical part of any styling that we need to put into our rhythm dances. Now, today is going to be more basically the motion that you will use in any staccato type of dance. This may be your mambo, your merengue, but it's also the fundamental starting blocks of motion that progresses with more rhythm added to our rumbas, our chachas, our sambas later on. So today we're going to be working on the most crucial part, which is staccato motion. Now what is staccato motion? Well basically, staccato is landing on a beat and holding it for that complete beat before we move to the next movement. So it's a start-stop. Think of it like stop-motion video. There is nothing happening in between this movement that actually gives me my rhythm. My rhythm is what my hips do in between what my feet do. Today we're going to be working on the staccato motion which is hip to foot at the exact same time. So find yourself some space. Let's get started. We all know how to do our basic motion. Bending the knee, straightening the opposite knee, bending the knee and straightening the opposite knee. So what we're wanting to do here is we're wanting to do everything at the same time with no movement in between it. There's a couple of tricks that we're gonna to do to allow us to get the strongest motion through this staccato without actually losing our footwork or our motion or slipping our hips. So again, if we're starting from here and I wanna start with my left leg, the first thing I wanna do is bend that left leg so my knee is bent and my right knee is straight. Now, as you get used to doing motion, the most important part of it is not necessarily the bent leg, but actually the straight leg. And as you can see here, my hip is completely to the right and it's moved out to the side, starting straight and moving to the side. But if I keep straightening that knee, you'll find that I can actually increase this. So as you do this basic element, even though you're focusing on the bent knee, think about straightening that back knee as strong as you can, which will actually give you more motion, okay? And all I'm doing is extending my hip further around as opposed to just to the side. Just to the side, just to the side and around. And the only reason I turn it around is I push that knee even straighter backwards, okay? I'm pushing the heel down into the ground while I'm leaning forward. So again, let's just work on this staccato footwork. The most important part about the staccato footwork is that if we're doing it basically, so let's say we're doing it in a rumba to start with, which is where we want to focus on. Obviously later on, I'll be working on it in my mambo, but the most important part of doing the staccato uh, action is in the rumba because it's the most simple step pattern that we can do. Plus it focuses on us holding that slow for the complete two counts. Slow is two counts, quicks are single counts. Okay, so again, we're gonna start here. We're gonna start with the left knee bending. And this is an asexual step. So whether you're a female, you'll still be doing the exact same box step as a male. You'll just be starting on the forward step as opposed to the back step to the right, forward step to the left. So we're gonna do it so it's easier for everybody here. So again, bending that knee, and I'm gonna step forward in exactly the same spot. That's my forward step. So from here, step forward. Okay, now once I've got that, I don't want to straighten that knee, bend that back knee, because what happens is that I lose my hips in between it. So this staccato motion is basically one, two. And I'm gonna hold it there for the whole slow, slow. Slow. Now when I'm ready to take the second step, I need to make sure that I straighten this knee, bend this knee, and take the step, all in the same time. So again, once I've taken that first step, one, two, I don't want to jiggle around in between it, I want to go straight to the side. So as I'm doing this in slow motion, you'll find that from here, I want to straighten that knee, take all the weight. I don't want to do it until I'm ready to step at the end of the slow. One, two. 
At the end of that two, I'm going to straighten that knee as quick as I can, which in turn bends this knee, frees up the weight to take it to the side. And that's my landing action. And I'm going to hold that count now until I'm ready to move again. Again, not straightening it, otherwise I'll lose my hips. So in between this movement, I've got my one, two, three, and then when I'm ready to bring my feet together, four. And don't straighten your knee. Keep that there until I'm ready to step backwards. So again, forward with the left knee, one, two. Keep that exact same movement here. I'm pushing that right knee backwards, which strengthens my motion more to the right. So I'm getting more rotation in my hips. One, two. As I take the side step, straight away, three, and then close my feet, four. Now as I step backwards, these are the tricky ones, because normally when we step backwards, the first thing we wanna do is take the weight, okay? And so the tricky part is don't take large steps. Practice really, really small. So if I'm ready to take that back step, so from here, I wanna take that back step. As I shift and I step, I put my weight very close to my supporting foot. So now I've still got all my weight on that right foot, but I'm trying to get used to putting my weight on that right foot while my knees bend. And this is not a natural thing. Naturally, we don't walk backwards like this. We'll take the step and straighten the leg. And that's what tends to happen. We'll lose our hip as we take that step. So as I'm ready to take this movement backwards, one, it's gonna be very small to the side. I'm gonna stop stamping because I think the video keeps moving. One, okay? Now once I've taken that step, I'm gonna hold that for two counts. You'll know you've done it correctly if I can lift that forward leg off the floor. So my knee's still bent. There's no weight on this left leg whatsoever, but it's still straight. All my weight is on that right knee. I'll hold that for two counts. One, two. When I'm ready to take the side step, straighten that knee, take the side step directly to the side. Three. And then when I'm ready to close my feet, four. Then I start again. Straighten that knee, bend this knee, step forward. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So as you get comfortable with doing this kind of motion, what you're trying to do is staccato footwork, staccato hips. Try not to, in between your footwork, brush your feet anywhere in between this box. I want to go straight from the forward step to the side step as quick as I can. So the most direct direction to the side is diagonally across. So in my square, I've got an X, and that's where I take my side steps. So from here, one, two, directly to the side, three, four. One, two, directly to the side, which is that X in the middle, three, four. Don't worry about your feet being turned in or turned out, doesn't really matter, okay? You've got a mirror you can check to make sure that you're taking a forward step and there's no gap between your legs, but it's not really important. What we're trying to do is get our muscles used to moving on the steps. So again, very quickly, this is our stage one of our Cuban motion, and we have got right leg taking the weight, left leg bent, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So, if you find that a little bit tricky because your feet are losing it in between, make all the steps very even or all the counts even. And this way what you can do is basically work on a box version like Moringa using all slows as opposed to all quicks. So if I was doing the rumba, I could go one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And again, all I'm trying to do is get used to my weight being on the foot that I want it to be on before I transfer my weight. One, two, and I'm moving in between. One, two, three, four. So if I'm doing this merengue, it'll be all quicks. With no movement in between, no straight knees. One has to be bent, the other one takes over. One takes over, one takes over. Mambo, 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 mambo. Mambo is a box step where we just don't take the side step from the first step forward or the step backwards. So again, my mambo is my rumba box. 
but then I take a back step of the box, side step of the box. Back step of the box, a forward step of the box, side step of the box. And again, I'm trying not to shift in between. So directly forward, transfer weight backwards, directly sideways, directly backwards, directly forwards, directly sideways. Okay, so let's give this a go with some music. I put on some nice slow rumble to start with. And we're going to be focusing on holding that slow count for a full two beats before we move to the side and the close. So I'll count this out and if you want to, you can follow along with this with this music or you can put on your own music as it suits you. So, starting from our basic rumba. Seven and slow. Quick, quick, hold it. Quick, quick, hold. Quick, quick, stop. Quick, quick. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. As you practice this again, and you're feeling confident with this, think about straightening that back and forward step on either side of that box to increase the amount of motion that I take. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do two boxes, basic, and then two boxes where I'm really extending that leg to show and emphasize how much more I can rotate. Seven and hold. Quick, quick, hold. Quick, quick, hold. Quick, quick, hold. Now as I take a step forward, I'm gonna straighten my knee a lot more. Straighten this knee a lot more. And what you'll find is that every time that I take my motion, I'm exaggerating the hip in a rotational form, and I can only do that if I straighten the knee completely. If I relax the knee and just think about bending the knees, my motion goes more to the side. So as you practice this, think about straightening your knees more, and only do your hips with your feet, nothing in between. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video, everyone. That is our first of three to come on our Cuban motion. Staccato motion, hips with feet. Follow along, uh, keep practicing that over the weekend and you'll find that you will be ready for stage two, which will come to you next week. Until then, stay safe. All our best to everyone around the world, all our Afamari family, uh, and we'll catch you next time.